vortex energy is, uh, or I say it's a vortex movement to start with, it is a, a natural behaviorment of, of flow, different flows in the nature. It could be water, it could be gas, it could be, well, in our bloodstreams, whatever, in, in, from the smallest thing, our DNA or our, in our cells to the biggest thing out in the universe where you can see big spiral galaxies forming vortices. So it could be basically anything. And the energy from this, this is, uh, according to Schauberger, the, the, the way that nature uses to gather energy and to build up new structures, new life forms. So therefore he called it also the, 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 the movement of life. Victor Schauberger was active in, in Austria. He was an Austrian forester, uh, uh, an autodidact, uh, extremely talented, had extremely good observation skills. And he was active between 1920 to 1958 when he died. And he was working a lot with uh, different kind of machines, trying to replicate how nature did these things. He was studying fishes and, and birds in the forest because he was a forester. And, and from this he derived this theory and his work from, from, from nature. Various effects, various effects. Um, first, uh, the vortex itself creates a pressure gradient. So there's basically a vacuum in the center. Like you have in tornadoes. You have seen the tornadoes when they lift big trucks and stuff. It's that pressure, sub-pressure that lifts the, the car. The same thing are we using, and in some cases we use it for getting the water debubbled. So all the small bubbles in the water goes towards the center and bubbles out. If you remove the bubbles, you alter some of the properties of the water, such as viscosity and, and, and other things as well. Uh, but you can also use it the opposite in, in order to sort of aerate ponds or, or fish farms or whatever. So the, there the sub-pressure actually sucks in air and distributes it very efficiently in the water. On, on life in ponds, if you aerate, you, you add more oxygen into the water, which is beneficial for, for the life, basically. And also, it's a very natural way to get rid of algae. You don't need any, any chemicals, you just need to pump some water. Yeah, this is what you can sometimes call IVG, it's an industrial vortex generator. And, and um, basically it generates a vortex inside. And, and the first part is a preformer and the rest part is something we call a vortex chamber. The shape of it is, is based on the natural vortex in, in water. And it's very efficient. And the curvature is a way of controlling the acceleration of the vortex because when the, when the diameter gets narrow, the, the vortex speed up. So uh, we want to have this in, in a certain region. If it gets too high, too quick acceleration, you get expansion forces, which is the opposite. So this is not a hydrocyclone. A hydrocyclone works 180 degrees the opposite. This is a vortex generator where you have contraction forces instead. So everything gathers together in the center. Yes, um, he, had, he saw two forces or two waves of movement in the nature. I mentioned the implosion forces, which is the sort of the vortex-like. And the opposite ex is explosion forces, where he mentioned the explosion forces or the, the separating forces is something that the nature does when it sort of breaks down things in nature. A dead animal is sort of distributed away and in use for other animals. And we humans use explosion force. Our cars are literally explosive. <laughs> yeah, and we spread energy, we spread heat, and we have high pressure and high speed. The nature and the implosion force are 180 degrees the opposite. And if we use too much explosion, there will be an unbalance in the nature. So uh, this balance is sort of tipping over to one side and that's not, not beneficial for the nature and the life forces. For me, I am the person who brings things into action. So this is one of them. This is based on, on Victor Schauberg's ideas, which I can find and hear people talk about. So what we do, we, we bring them into to the reality. We, we want to do something out of this. We do want to develop a technology that is based on these ideas that could be beneficial for, for people, animals or whatever.